Good evening. Thanks for being here tonight. We're learning more this evening about what drove Cash Heed to resign as B.C.'s Solicitor General late Friday. Allegations of political dirty tricks during an especially nasty election campaign last year. But tonight, Heed says he's actually enjoying being out of Cabinet. He says he had nothing to do with the third major scandal that has rocked the Solicitor General's ministry in just two years. Our legislature reporter Shachi Curl is back on the beat tonight, and she has our top story. It doesn't uh, feel strange at all. Matter of fact, uh, you know, I'm uh, enjoying the new opportunity here, uh, you know, getting some great support from my colleagues. Listening to Kashid, you'd think he was glad to have a break from the pressures of cabinet. But this time out wasn't voluntary. He's resigned. He says it's out of an abundance of caution. Critics say he's under a cloud. And it all tracks back to a bunch of sensational campaign flyers that popped up in his constituency during last spring's bitter provincial election fight. I filed a complaint the minute that uh, I found the piece of literature as it was about to be destroyed. Dwayne Martin was the NDP campaign manager in Vancouver Fraserview in May 2009. The complaint was over Chinese and English brochures that claimed the NDP supported the death tax and wanted to legalize drugs and prostitution. The big problem is, under the Elections Act, the flyers were supposed to identify who paid for them. They didn't. Now questions are swirling about whether Heed's liberal campaign was behind the mail-out. Who was involved in that? Uh, how far up, you know, the, uh, the campaign chain does this go? Does it go all the way up to the top of uh, B.C. Liberal uh, headquarters? According to Elections B.C., even if the flyers were linked back to Cash Heed or his campaign, it's not enough for the former solicitor General to lose his seat. But if those flyers were paid for by Kashid and he didn't properly report the expense, that's trouble. I think that any any offense or potential offense under the Election Act is serious. If they can't find a paper trail from Heed to the flyers, then that's going to pretty much eliminate the problem for Heed. As he has done since he quit late Friday, Heed is saying he's done nothing wrong. We had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. The campaign didn't endorse anything of that nature. We never would. Heed's NDP election opponent says the flyers had a devastating effect on his campaign. He's looking for answers. Elections be BC and the RCMP are looking for answers too. That's why Cash Heed says he couldn't stay on as BC's top cop. That's why I think I'm I'm as uh, anxious as uh, everybody to know um, well when this could be this investigation will be concluded. It's not known when police will complete their investigation. No criminal charges have been laid. Shachi Curl joins us now with more on the story. Shachi, what's the opposition saying about this? Surprisingly little, Hudson. You'd think they'd be feasting on this latest embarrassment for the Campbell Liberals, the third resignation from the Solicitor General's ministry in two years. But the NDP appears to be a little gun-shy. There was not one peep on this issue from New Democrats in question period today. The opposition claiming they want to let investigators do their work, but that certainly hasn't stopped them from asking questions about other cases before. Hudson. All right, Shashi Curl reporting. Shashi, thank you. Thank you.